watch for the just to see the opening. Yeah. Because they're so creative. Oh, First absolutely. Of all, Gary was one of the most prepared players in history. He always had a smell, a taste of where to get the advantage and keep dynamism when he had an opening position sitting in front of him. And of course, Levon is Mr. Creative. Just look at that shirt, which I am loving, by the way. I love that black. I love the patterns. I don't know what they mean. I want him to decode it for us when he comes down here. And we see him later because that's just a hot shirt. And there he goes, a handshake between these uh, fellow or they're legends of the game. Sadly, a classical game. This is like absolutely sad. But they never, they got, never got to play each other. They never got to play each other. And look at this. I, I was thinking about this. D4, D5, immediately the break you were mentioning. How do you get the major pieces into the game? And there you, there you go. You play a slot. Yeah, yeah. He says you want to trade out for the D file, then on the C file. Here's what we all. Uh, what are you looking for? That would be boring as boring. No.
now unable to convert that pawn. And Bobby's actually the one that finds himself with winning chances. We're gonna go back to that one in a little bit. But let's just stick to this end game. This is pure chess, but it's not easy. Surprisingly not easy. It's just not easy. Oh, this one. Bishop D3 lost King H5. He's a little concerned about it. Along. He should be not letting that king get in the game. Very good defensive skills so far. With some tenacity. Yes, and always with no the trick time is, on the clock. Always the trick is rook A1. You can't easily. Exactly, I like that. I like that. That's what I was following. That's a good one. Now you gotta move. And now, ooh, if you're adjusting the bishop there, was Gary and somebody's head is in the way. Somebody hit him in the head. Don't get out of here. Thank you. All right, now, the problem is the king, it's gonna take a little while to get in. I'm not, I need my rook guard on f6. That's what I need. I, I just wanna put And Fabio of being told oh, actually. Whoa, whoa. What? Yes. He won that one? Can you believe it? Incredible big victory for him. Without any in, it, in that end game. Yeah. Big victory there for Fabio Carwana. What a recovery. Absolutely. What the big what the big two? Oh man. Yo, just he just got on play. But in the meantime, still trying oh, here. We are finally closing in. Oh, my rook on f6. I just put a king on e5, and here comes the king. Oh, uh oh, he's actually losing the pawn straight. Oh, yeah, the geometric. And that's it, it's over. That's it, it's over. Gary gets borrowed with two wins in, in a, a row. row. Excellent. Excellent. He's got Excellent. three, he's got three points right now. And look at that, calm as ever. As Gary is starting to show his teeth. Or he's showing me what happened. What happened? We had, we had just said, Fabi's gonna draw, Fabi's gonna draw, Fabi's gonna draw. What happened to Maxime Bashir Le Graf? How did Fabi...